Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And they're underway now in the league final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Marquinhos. Frankie de Jong. Lewandowski. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. And the free kick, not far off at all. Well, that was struck so well. I actually think he'll be disappointed he didn't score there. That's how good a player he is. Vitor Ferreira 
Went in strongly, decisively. Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, he comes alive around the box. He's so good at backing into defenders, rolling away from them and then getting off his shots quickly. He's so difficult to mark and that's why he's their leading goal scorer. Well, successfully cut out. He's enjoying space. But quick thinking defensively. That's useful play. Messi. Mukiele. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Araujo. Here's Rafinha. And showing fine vision. Frankie de Jong. Well read. Oh, in with a chance. Really classy goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Snuffing out the danger. He takes aim. Body on the line. And that will be a Barcelona ball. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And it is a booking, and their approach is nothing short of feisty. Well, they have to keep their discipline here. They can't afford to lose another player. Firing it towards goal! And it was on the target, but the keeper up to the task of saving it. And space for them here on the flank. Chance to take the lead! Oh, there it is! The opening goal! It falls for Paris Saint-Germain! And it could be oh so significant! Well, let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. And Barca get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Ansu Fati. Well, he's given us away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Marco Verratti. Good work from Barca to make sure possession changed hands. Lewandowski. Now Jordi Alba. Good looking move, this. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Messi. And Fabian. Bernat. Good tackle, it'll be a throw.
Mukiele. It's there for him. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Not deep, Mukiele. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And they need to get tighter. De Jong. He's taken on his opponent here. Can he find the net? Oh, a smart stop. And now the play has stopped. The referee can administer the booking. Fancy a short one. The defender doing his job. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. And deciding to go short with this one. The delivery. Well, they survived the attack. Nordi Mukiele. Now with Messi. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Mbappe, Verratti now, and the PSG corner, Fired over by Messi. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Just can't get it past him. Over it comes. It comes to nothing in the end. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Can he make it count? Still could be dangerous. Well, threat over for now. Half time then here in the English capital. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory.
Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Mbappe. And that'll be a Barca throw. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Araujo. Pedri. Now Busquets. And intercepts again. Kunde. Now Busquets. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Mbappe. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Surely! Safe pair of hands did his job. A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw-in. Frankie de Jong decent position and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Lewandowski Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Mbappe. Who can he pick out? A sloppy pass. Frankie de Jong. And he keeps going. And space for him to cut in. Real chance. Well, he's missed the chance. And the keeper didn't have to do very much. Could be a chance to break here. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Well, the card is out. And it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's light. Definitely a yellow card. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. De Jong. And he's broken free. Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Twenty minutes to go in this one. De Jong. And now he must score. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end. But what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending.
Well, it's on with the game. Barcelona might still be behind, but they're making this a contest. Messi. Here's Renato Sanchez. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Frankie de Jong. Dembele. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And caught by the keeper. Well, Barcelona are creating chances, that's for sure. But they trail here because their finishing just hasn't been good enough so far. Dembele. Dembele. Jordi Alba. De Jong. And Paris Saint-Germain with the ball again. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Christensen, chance to attack using wit. Barcelona fighting against this overall situation. What can they pull out of the fire? Lewandowski, could be. Oh, the pass denied him. And how about that for a save? Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Now the delivery, and not the best clearance. And off the post, and turned onto the woodwork. Marvellous anticipation. Throw in here for Barcelona. Now veering in field, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Tempele. Didn't fool the keeper. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Well, Barcelona certainly haven't been at their best today, but that was a really big chance to get something from the game. Credit to the keeper, though. It was a great save, wasn't it? Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, possibilities in the centre. Mbappé! Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Soler. On to Messi. And Ronaldo Sanchez with it now. And a decent save. Full credit. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Fired over by Messi. Well, not cleared away completely. Sanchez. Full time. Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain.
Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.